Hi everyone, we're going to find the equation of the tangent line at a given point at a given point using the chain rule. And the first thing I want to do is rewrite this as tan of x squared. It's the same as that, just a different way to write it. So now I'm going to take the derivative using the chain rule of this one. So it's going to be 2 tan of x and then multiply it by the inner function, which is secant squared of x. So we get um, that, and then we're going to evaluate pi over 4. So we get 2 um, tan of pi over 4 times secant pi over 4 squared, and that's just going to give you 2 times 1 times 2, and that equals 4. And all we're going to do now is plug in our point. I'm going to go ahead and use point slope form. So we have y minus 1 equals 4 times x minus my pi over 4. This is your x and this is your y. And then all I'm going to do is, if you write one it in slope intercept form, this would be 4x minus pi, and then you add the 1 to both sides. So that would be your slope form. If you want it in standard form, we're just going to write it as uh, 4x minus your y. And then I'm going to go ahead and write it like uh, 1 minus pi, like that. Because these go, this kind of goes together. Alright. The next one we have is one with cubes. So, again, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times tan of x cubed. So, I'm going to take um, the derivative using the chain rule. So, I'm going to do the outer function first multiply those two, so I get 6 tan of x, and 3 minus uh, 1 is 2, and the derivative of tan, when you do your inner function, which is going to be secant squared of x. Now let's plug in our values. We're going to get um, derivative at our point, our x is pi over 4, and we know tan of pi over 4 is 1, so that should be 6 times 1. And then we have, um, for the, the secant one, that's just going to be 2, and that equals 12. Now, that's our slope, so our tangent line is going to be y minus our 2 equals 12 times x minus your x value. And if you want this in slope-intercept form, we're just going to move that 2 over and distribute here. So it's going to be 12x. Um, now go ahead and move the 2 over. So it'll be plus 2. And this is going to be minus 3 pi. Of course, these two are supposed to go together, but we can just leave it like that. And that's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.